Well, you may have heard about people who've recovered from COVID, but are still talking about lingering brain fog for months. Yeah, the causes have been a mystery to the medical community, but tonight there are new answers and medical reporter Meg Ferris has that and more on a new free study for people who have those long time COVID symptoms. New science out today in the prestigious journal Nature Neuroscience. It's shedding light on brain fog after COVID. Researchers find that the coronavirus makes an enzyme in your body, and that damages tiny blood vessels in the brain, depriving cells of oxygen-rich blood. Tulane neurologist Dr. Michelle Longo says this helps people suffering from long COVID know there's a real biological change causing their symptoms. If you're being told that this is your anxiety and your depression, and it's just been a really tough year during the pandemic, and that's why you're struggling, that may not be the whole picture. And that new knowledge could lead to a medication one day to block that damaging enzyme. Dr. Longo says there continues to be a high demand for appointments at the Tulane Post-COVID Neurology Clinic. People come in struggling with brain fog, fatigue, racing heart rates, loss of taste and smell, and tingling in the hands and feet. You're telling me there are people who were asymptomatic, no symptoms when they had the virus, but it was afterwards they started having the long COVID symptoms. That's, that's correct. She says long COVID patients are from all socioeconomic backgrounds. They include all ages, children, college age, adults, and the elderly. Some have been in the ICU, others no symptoms. And some have previous health conditions while others have had none. They're even healthy professional athletes. And right now, they can only treat the symptoms, not cure them. And it appears there are multiple causes for long COVID. I suspect that there won't be one single medication that takes care of these symptoms for everyone. Tulane has many studies now looking at long COVID, but soon its doctors will join Pennington Biomedical Research Center in Baton Rouge and LSU Health in New Orleans in an upcoming NIH study to investigate the mysteries of long COVID. They want to figure out why some get well, but so many others who survive stay sick for so long. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. So if you have some of those lingering COVID symptoms and you want to join any of the free studies that Meg just mentioned, we have links and phone numbers in this story on WWLTV.com.